All right, welcome again to Zuber's World and we are here on our last episode in St. Martin and also the last episode of the best beaches of St. Martin and we are here in Simpson Bay. I think this is the longest stretch of beach on the Dutch side. This is the airport and the beach starts all the way from here and it goes wham. On the map it stops here but it goes even further until Maho. Maho is somewhere over here. And because this is a long stretch of beach, they gave it different names. You have Character, you have Simpson Bay, you have, I don't know, I don't know the other ones. Anyways, they gave them different names. And just here behind me, this is the airport. You can see the runway. You can see some airplanes standing over there, waiting for me. <laughs> So let's see how beautiful this beach looks like. You won't believe me, I'm here for two months now. I visited almost all beaches on this island, but this one is very close to my hotel and I've never been here before. <laughs> it's always like that, right? If you live somewhere, you won't visit the place where you live, right? You wanna go somewhere further. So we are going to walk it from the beginning until the end and back. I will see you right at the beginning. All right, this is the beginning of Simpson Bay. This is literally the beginning of the beach. This is where Simpson Bay starts. <laughs> and my main task on this episode is to walk this beach until the end. I don't know how long that is, two, three kilometers, something like that. And as you can see, there is literally no one on this part of the beach because all of the people are way up there, somewhere in the middle of the beach. I don't know why people do that, because the beach is big enough for everybody. But for some reason, people search for each other and stay with each other and they leave all this beach for me. I'm a minority. <laughs> and if you're a minority, people will look at you in a strange way. They will look at you like, you're not one of us. You're doing stupid stuff or you're doing weird stuff. You're filming, you're walking, you're talking to your camera. A lot of people find it crazy to talk to the camera while walking or anything. So I respect them that they are sitting all together and leaving this beach for me. Thank you for that, I appreciate it. I saw this travel vlog of Kara and Nate, they were also in St. Martin, maybe it's Nate and Kara, I don't know, doesn't matter. And they were also walking on this part of the beach and they said that they were walking here until Maho and Maho is the beach that you already saw on the previous episode and if you haven't seen the episode yet, just click on the link right here. So Maho Beach is the most famous beach on this island because all the planes that are taking off and landing are right at Maho Beach. You can feel the blast of the airplanes when they are taking off and you can see an airplane very close to your head when they are landing. A lot of countries are welcome to enter St. Martin. You only need one person who has this COVID-19 and all the problems will start all over again. So my prediction is this island will suffer from COVID-19 once again. And not only this island, I think it's, it's a world problem. It is a world problem. And this COVID-19 won't go away until somebody finds medication or vaccination to get rid of this stupid disease. And otherwise we have to use to live with it the rest of our lives. So be it travelers like me it will be very very hard to to live with this uh, COVID-19 bullshit but yeah what can we do we cannot do anything about it the only thing that we can do is accept it move on it will cost a lot of money to travel right now and a lot of countries are not allowed to travel to so I don't know how long it will take me to visit all countries in the world. But just close your eyes and enjoy this moment 
enjoy this view. This is fabulous, amazing, beautiful. Let's see. I'm almost halfway. Nah, I don't think I'm halfway. The end is right over there. And on this side, the end is right over there. So if you listen good to my voice, it's further over there than over there. I will do it again. The end on this side is right over there. And the end on this side is right over there. <laughs> I rested a little bit and it's time to move on to go to the end of the beach I started from that side and I'm going all the way to that side let's go oh water sports let's see the prizes one hour on a jet ski is $150 two hours 210 prices here are high man I rented a jet ski in Page Arizona on Lake Powell it was $250 for the whole day they gave me a 4x4 a trailer and we rented two jet skis so it was $500 for everything <laughs> and here they ask $210 for one jet ski for two hours nah not gonna do it and if you haven't seen my video on a jet ski in Lake Powell click on the link right here the best place in the world to drive a jet ski is on Lake Powell and as you can see right now the beginning of the beach is right over there and the end of the beach is right over there <laughs> I don't think you can walk this beach until Maho because that over there is the end of the beach and I see a lot of rocks going to the left and I don't think there is a, a path which you can take along the rocks but we will see the Sun is almost set we're almost at the end of the beach I will see you guys when I arrive at the end of the beach later it's 30 degrees the sun in my face, the wind on my body, the water on my feet. Oh man, I can walk with my eyes closed until the end of this beach, man. This is so relaxing. It's like somebody is giving me a massage. Oh. Yippee ki yay! And as you can see, we're almost at the end of Simpson Bay. So now I can officially say that I have walked the whole Simpson Bay. Maybe it's just me, but I like the corners of the beach. I don't like to be somewhere in the middle. I want to be somewhere at the end or at the beginning. Should I wear my flip-flops? Let's see where the stairs is leading us. Yeah, just like I thought, Maho Beach is not over here. We have to walk a little bit further to get to Maho Beach. Oh, let's see what kind of view we have over here. Yeah, there is the runway. It goes until there. And Maho is all the way there. So it, it's probably 500 meters from here. Let's go until the end of this path and take a look and then we go back wow look at all the meters all right just what I thought this is just a normal neighborhood Maho Beach is a little bit further away this is almost the end of the video I have a special announcement to all of you guys Thank you very much for watching this episode. This is the end of the St. Martin travel vlogs. I hope you enjoyed all the videos that I've made and that I shared with you guys. In about two days, I'm flying to another island. 
I'm not gonna tell you where, but it will be crazy. So the coming two days, I'm just going to relax, to enjoy, to think about what I'm going to do on the other island so I can make some beautiful travel vlogs for you guys. So I want to thank everybody for your support guys. Thank you very much for watching my videos and I'll promise to you guys that the next episode in the next country and next island will be as much as adventurous as what you saw on these episodes of St. Martin. For you guys, this is the end of the video. For me, I have to walk all the way back to my car. I told you, it's easier to travel with me from your computer or your mobile phone than traveling like me from here. <laughs> Anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel, like my video, comment down below, help my channel grow, and tell me where to go. See ya on the next episode.